right, Janky here. And this time I do not have a cheap guitar. I have a really, really, really nice guitar. This is the Gibson 339. So it is the, the smaller little brother to the 335. Why they call it a 339, I don't know. Maybe somebody can tell us. Um, but this is again, a uh, beautiful, beautiful Gibson um, custom shop here. Um, I, I love the sound of the 335s, but sometimes they just kind of feel a little too big to me, kind of awkward. This is a great guitar. It's well made um, to a certain point. I will get to that in a minute. <laughs> and uh, But uh, let me show it to you, man. I'm very, I love this guitar. You know, pretty standard Les Paul headstock there. I got a little sticker from my daughter. Um, beautiful neck. So it feels straight up less polished, maybe a little smaller than a Paul. Um, and it, it doesn't, it feels a little fatter than say a 335 and, um, beautiful neck, beautiful craftsmanship. Um, it's got the, the beautiful, beautiful sounding pickups, pretty hot. You got the two tones, two volumes with a three-way pot and, um, through a switch, standard, uh, what is that, tunematic, and then on the back here, so I've got a, I, I've played Switzerland twice, um, I played Lucerne, and I played Chrissy, Chrissy Air playing lead for Robert Kimbrough Sr., so um, this is the guitar that I brought on both trips, and uh, we bonded, we bonded pretty well, and uh, beautiful guitar, the only thing about Gibsons, and, and if, you, if you've if you owned one, you're in fear of this, or it has happened to you. So um, it was funny enough that I was playing a festival in Holly Springs, Mississippi with Robert Kimbrough and uh, Picnic, and we're driving home to his house, and we stopped by Junior Kimbrough's juke joint, um, the one that burned down just in Holly Springs, Mississippi there. And we stopped by there and I opened up the back to get my camera out and my guitar, I, the case fell out. So I put it back in, then I get home and the dang neck <laughs> was just cracked, busted right here. And it was in the hard shell case. So I don't know, but I know this is a very, very, very common thing. So I don't know if you could see it, but there's a little line here. And so uh, Robert over at High Tones Guitars, I was just heartbroken. I didn't even tell anybody because I was just so heartbroken. And he said, I can fix it, dude. I'll fix it and it'll be stronger than before. So there you have it. Uh, this is a Gibson thing. They are known to break right here. So if you own a Gibson with a headstock like this, I don't think it's the Flying Vs or the Explorers or anything, but this one is known to break right here. And it was just a V right here. Just busted. But it's fixed and it sounds, still plays great, sounds great. Um, I love this guitar. <clears throat> I do, I love it so much. So let me play it for you. And I will, uh, by the way, I picked this up at Guitar Center. Um, <clears throat> brand new. And uh, it is beautiful. So let me play it for you and show you what it sounds like. I'm playing through a VHT combo with, um, I've got a blues driver on this a little bit, just a, a hint. And I've got a class of boost, which just adds a little more thickness and volume and a reverb pedal mimicking Junior Kimbrough as best I can. Here's the, uh, the back pickup. Both pickups. <laughs> 
There you have it, Gibson 339. If I called it a 335 earlier in the video, I have dyslexia, so I apologize. But this is a 339. This is the smaller one. Um, I love it. It feels great. It sounds great. It plays great. This is not an inexpensive guitar. So I do have some nice uh, pricey guitars. This is not one. Of, I mean, this is not the cheap guitars like I usually have. Again, uh, Guitar Center, bought it at Guitar Center. Love playing this thing. If you like the 335, but feel it's a little too big, this is the guitar for you. So it's about it's about the size of a Les Paul. It's lighter than a Les Paul. It's about the size of a Les Paul, and it it's it sounds great. I'll do a comparison video. I'll have a Sheridan uh, full body that I'm gonna I'll do a comparison just to see if there's a big difference in the tonality of like the bottom end or something since it's a bigger guitar. But I love this guitar. I'm a blues musician. I go by Janky. Please check me out online. It's my newest CD, uh, Hill Country Foot Stomp. And this is all Hill Country Blues. Get down, funky, have a good time. Boogie, woogie, boogie. Uh, like I said, North Mississippi. And uh, check me out online, getjanky.com. G-E-T-J-A-N-K-Y.com. And of course on Spotify, just look for Janky, J-A-N-K-Y. And uh, I'm on YouTube, and of course my music is all over YouTube and stuff like that. So uh, just love to hear what you think of my music. Um, you know, and I, I play a lot of cheap guitars in this music because uh, it's all about what it sounds like, man. And, you know, um, I always say that, you know, my mentor played a guitar from Walmart all over the world. So um, if you like if you like guitars, check out my channel, subscribe. I've got a lot of guitar reviews. I have a lot of guitars, and um, a lot of them are the cheap ones. So... Uh, if you're in the market for something like that, uh, check me out, subscribe, go check me out online, keep playing, and most importantly, have fun playing, period.